Large blades destined to be put on electricity generating wind turbines lay side by side on the port terminal grounds. They're stacked where two long warehouses used to sit. Port Vice Chair Michael Zuquette says the changes allow the port to accept specialty cargo. They're 67 meters long, uh, and as you see, and there's 45 of them, so as you stack them end to end, it's, uh, what, two or three football fields worth of uh, windmill blades. And this is something that would not have been possible before the modernization project. This port upgrade is also part of a larger plan to eliminate some pollution generated here. Port officials are working on replacing diesel vehicles with electric ones. Dennis DeBard represents the port's working waterfront group. He says the terminal is now much more useful to the businesses on the bay. With the efficiencies that are now present on the terminal, it will provide the port customers the ability to receive oversized and non-containerized cargo. This is especially important to the shipbuilders and maintainers along the waterfront. More business for the port could mean more pollution in Barrio Logan. How that is dealt with is still being worked out with the community. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.